basically all you missed is a, a bit of panel rambling. I wish they so could have heard fine. the like the panel slow descent into madness. All right. <laughs> that was it was really quite something and they were trying to fill time desperately the game was paused at the start so you haven't missed anything which is uh something chat don't worry about it and they're gonna go for fauna they've got the nightmare into the bramble maze and the skewer oh, so team spirit will lock up first blood i like that they uh wait oh well played by Maposhka. Stops the wave pool from happening, and now the lane's going to be going all the way back towards the Monkey King again. This is something we saw the other day. I think it was T1 against Spirit, where Maposhka... I think just dead. Yeah, I think Maposhka knew he was dead, and he doesn't have that... Would you do that after? Get the Helm of the Overlord, and then go work it afterwards? Uh, we have seen it this tournament once already, right? But I think the... Enabling the Void is going to be the key thing this game. Nightmare, Primal Spring with Boundless Strike, popping that Jingu. Maposhka will get that kill as he uses that Brain Sap for shift. it. Now, 3 3 Shape Shifts goes after Maposhka, who doesn't have anything available to him. So, no Nightmare, no Brain Sap to survive, and will just get run down here by 3 3. Now, you can see how little damage that Jingu did against the Lycan as well. Nine Tornado EMP, Toronto Tokyo now out of mana. He did have that wand to pop. Cold Snap doing a lot here, and Snake King's trying to get there, so he can't get that double damage to refill the bottle, but they've also got Fada coming in, and he doesn't have any mana to work with, so he'll just end up dead. So, doing a really good job so far here on Tundra. Dyer's middle tower we didn't get a chance to, um... Oh, hang on. Bottle Ooh, Chrono, Chrono on a two. Rocket Barrage still going off. They're trying to get the kill here onto the Magnus. They'll bring over nine. Collapse is low. Collapse is dead. The Tornado EMP right onto this onto this Dark Willow end. While well, this is a problem right now for Mira as he's just getting chased all the way through the Tier 1 tower. And Skitter will grab himself a kill. Good move. Both I've ever seen. And again. Can't find another. Maposhka just getting run down. EMP once more. Nine with another kill. Tornado almost hitting Toronto, Tokyo. Sneaking comes over. The double damage was popped. Side of fist through. Ramble Maze coming down. That will lock up nine. And they get the kill. They've got the Cursed Crown. They should have the lockdown for this finish. But, ooh, surviving with the one. He's still alive. And just goes down to Toronto, Tokyo. They're going to bring Collapse over. Shockwave pulling back the Snapfire. Snaking in trouble. Snaking going down to Toronto, Tokyo. Who grabs a double kill for himself and two kills there in return. So the fact they're not able to uh, enable this oh boy, here at all. He's in trouble. Goes into the Shadow Realm, throws the Cursed Crown as well as the Bramble Maze. He's trying to survive as best he can, but again, he does not have that level six. He can throw a Terrorize or go to a Bedlam shot. Iron stuff at the Invoker with the Tornado. We've talked about this before. When you have these like stuns into the um, Invoker combos with the like Cataclysm and the Sunstruck and things, four stuff so valuable. Toronto took you in on Snake King, but they're going to throw the tornado over on a Maposhka. They've got themselves the Helm of the Overlord and oh Lycan chasing, God. trying to take out this Bane. I Spirit Vessel's on him. He's dead on his screen already. He'll get the kill onto the Bane, throw the Sun Strike out. That's not going to land on a collapse, but Mira, he's in a little bit far, getting the kill on a Fada. Does he survive out of this? Throws the Terrorize, walks away, and he will in fact. They've been the ones setting the tempo in the last couple of days. They have? Link RP. They're going to try and get in on this. They'll use the smoke. It's I don't know if it's going to be quick though. enough. It's quite low. Snake King in the perfect position. Now they go to the shapeshift. They're going to look over to Toronto. Tokyo, the side of fist and the Searing Chase comes out for the Lycan, but they're going to finish off Roche. Get themselves the Aegis, and oh, he's on the cliff! Toronto, Tokyo! He's in a bad spot here on the cliff like a ward, and he'll be de-warded by Fada. Sun strike in on the Maposhka. He turns around. He's going to be dead as well. 3-3, three, three, now on a killing spree. Tundra, they get themselves the Aegis into the hands of... The amount of physical damage that can come out for the three cores. Omi Missile going in, into the Shadow Realm, pops the Bedlam. They've got the Cursed Crown, so they have the Lockdown on a Skitter for a second. The Balance Strike comes through. They've got the RP. Do they have enough damage? We'll try to throw the Terrorize out in the Wukongs, but still Skitter surviving, time walking out. On the other Tokyo. side, they find themselves Toronto, Tokyo. They have the call down right on top of this Ember. He'll try to remnant away. The only one dead so far is Mira. 33 is going to continue to chase. They've got Maposhka for some help. He has that brain sap. They're thinking about going into the Fiend's grip and realizes he just needs to leave. They'll teleport out. They lose collapse. And two heroes die. Some target selection, though, by Tundra. They find the Willow first. And it feels like Mira is just not having a game right now. Yeah. Oh, Maposhka. Toronto, Tokyo. Stepping up. Meanwhile, Maposhka. I need to punish he's this. 
Ooh, terrorize on a two. Primal Spring down. They'll look over at the Invoker. They've got the Shockwave. Pull them in with the Cursed Crown, stunning them both up. They'll get the kill on a nine as well as Snake King. They're looking for one more. Fada trying to run away with that pig pole. Another remnant forward. Homie missile coming in. Toronto Tokyo has the slight. He'll avoid the homie missile and get the kill on a Fada. That's three dead on the side of Tundra. Team Spirit with what seems to be one of their first good fights in the game. Man, I mean, I mean, I respect that from Tundra. Scotty, he's got those both queued up for the moment. There's the AC. So, all finished. 3-3, three, three, top of the net worth. You can see that Yantaro, with the help of the Empower, is kind of with it. And they're going to go after Skinner. They've got themselves the Fiend's Grip. Oh, oh time no. Walk. Oh, but back in. Chronosphere on the edge. He's trying to survive. Here's the Sunstrike. Mortimer's Kiss is down onto the Monkey King, but he pops the BKB. Yantaro will survive. Mira trying to get out. And I think Yantaro may be realizing that he wasn't able to escape just yet right there. He didn't TP immediately, and he goes into the trees and TPs out on top of them. We'll leave. They get the Aegis. Buy Ags. Although, the third Roche is coming. Like, he could just get it that way. Oh, shapeshift. Shapeshift, Maposhka. He knows that sound. Great chains. Yeah, great chains into the Terrorize. They've got the Fear on a 33, and they're going to go after Fada with the BKB being popped by Toronto, Tokyo. Oh, uh, he's got that Maelstrom. It procs over. Remnant forward gets the kill, and he'll leave with that. Mira's still around, and they do have this ward on the high ground, so they know exactly where the Dark Will is. They'll get the Cold Snap into the Tornado and the Meteor with the Thunder Hide here. Skitter will going to get the kill. Goes into the Shadow Realm. Scatter Blast. Team Spirit coming over, and, well, Mira's going to survive for the moment. Oh, the whole save for the moment, but the second he gets out of the Shadow Realm, they'll get the kill on a Mira. They'll take out Snake King, and that's because of Collapse coming in with the Horn Toss as well as the Skewer. So two heroes dead on the side of Tundra while they lose this Dark Willow. Team Spirit doing a really good job of like poking, right? They're not they're not committing heavily ever. Ooh, searing chains once again. They've got the root on a three three. Sight of fists and the remnant back avoids the tornado EMP. And Yatrest, he's got himself uh, as well as the tranquils, and I believe he has something flying out for him, and it's going to be the four staff components. Mortimer's Kisses sending Mira back. Tornado, though, it's going to be on the money. Sends him right oh, next to the Thunder High. They've also caught Maposhka. Both supports looking like they're dead. And they'll both fall. Tundra moving around the map. Clean. 3-3. Okay. Three, three. It's... Fire Snap Cookie out of the pit. They're coming all the way around. They want to get the kill on a Skitter, but Skitter breaks the smoke. They've got the word on the high ground. There's the Horn Toss into the Skewer. Do they have the control? There's the Fiend's Grip as well as the RP. The Terrorize comes in, and they should be able to get the kill on a Skitter. They'll end up losing the Poshka, but Skitter's going to buy back. They get the kill on a Snake King. They'll take out this Snapfire. And into the trees, Yantaro goes. Oh, to tornado hits on a Collapse and takes him out. The Tornado also edged out Yantaro, who's trying to TP out of this one. 3-3. Three, three. Got the Scardy on the Monkey King, though, as well. About a thousand gold away. Kind of getting close to it. Radiant are scanning. These teams kind of close to each other. You've got Tor Toronto Tokyo leading the charge. Side of fist. And now he's going to be hexed up by the Invoker. They've got the Meteor down. Root out onto this snap fire. Is on the oh, other Chrono. side. They've got the stun out onto Fada. The Chrono comes in. And that's going to be on a Toronto Tokyo. He's also got the Refresher with a Cataclysm coming in. They'll take out Fada, but they'll end up losing Toronto, Tokyo. Toronto, Tokyo doesn't have buyback, and now they got to focus their attention on the Poshka. It's a huge RP coming in. Do they have enough in the Wukong's command with the Battle Strike coming in? The Terrorite being thrown from Mira. No, they don't. They've got the Fear onto the Invoker, but it's just not enough damage at all. And now they're going to turn around and look to chase. They'll try to get the kill here onto the Monkey King, but Yatro. Oh, into the trees. Time dilation. They have nothing to stop him from Skitter. They had a sentry on that high ground. Oh, no, no. Okay, Spirit Sentry. Oh, mid lane. And just popped on 3-3. He's going to try and walk away. But Maposhka, look at his positioning. Going into the Fiend's group. Oh, now the they've cheese. got the Abyssal coming out from Yantaro. who will eat the cheese. But do they have the control? Yes, they do. Mira with the Bedlam doing so much damage. I was going to say. Okay, so they yeah. just use Grip there. So the Lycan's still going to be dead. This is what I'm saying. And you you have this big ulti backup again soon. Skewer. Oh, skewer again, back. First catch. crown. They're going to catch him and look to get this kill on a Snake King. They'll find him. You have to respect this Magnus hero. How many times have we seen this this game already? I feel Help. They're going to use that shapeshift meanwhile. So Snake King's back up again Ooh, now as well. Strike coming through on a Toronto Tokyo. Snake King's back up. Time walk into the pit. They see that Roche is at about half health. 
And they've been throwing the alacrity on a skitter, but they've caught the him. They're looking for the RP. No, they've already got the Fiend Scream coming through on the face of Smoy. There's the RP on a two with the Wukong's command around them. Skitter is taking. They both died. They've got the buyback available on Skitter. They're going to look over as the face of Smoy. It's got to come back into the fight. They kill off nine. He's got buyback. Rose still Chrono up. Half health. They're not committing into it. They still have Chrono. And I believe they still have Cataclysm ready to go. So the Wombo combo is still available. Skitter times off. Time walks into the pit. They've got the Brimble Maze down. And Skitter's just going to go for Rose. Yutero looking, Skitter right clicks him. Mira shows himself, Curse Crown on a Skitter. They've got the Primal Spring right onto these heroes as Curse Crown stuns up too, but they've got the Hex on to Yutero. They'll drop down the Chrono, do they have the Cataclysm? Yes, it's gonna come down. The Nightmare! Oh, the Nightmare saved from Maposhka! Maposhka saving Yatro, but he's Yatro still gonna survive. The skill back on a multiple heroes, they get the kill on a Fada as well as nine. They'll take him too, they look over at Skitter and they will kill him off. 33, he can only just fight. It's a full team wipe for Team Spirit. They will dominate Tundra in this last fight. They will get the reward of Roach, and it is an absolute clean fight from Team Spirit. Holy shit. Door is up. up. Backdoor but... doesn't matter. You can see the couriers on the Radiant side. They're actually trying to pull the Creep Wave away. But, yeah, not going to be enough, unfortunately. Yeah, they'll go for the throne, and Spirit with a perfect fight by the Roach pit will take game one. That nightmare from Maposhka saves Yatro, the skewers, the RPs, all the control.